heavy. Board. Man, does it disappoint. Uh, image to image just really bugs me. And I think that the title is in, is trying to do a lot of work for this, but it isn't. So we just moving from a little observation to observation and, and the overall connection from each observation is missing. And this is an important lesson for writers, aspiring poets, aspiring writers. Your title, when you have a poem that's maybe like a string of things together that don't quite fit, but you could make them fit together, you know, through work, rewriting, the kind of artifice of poetry, the craft, titles can do a lot of work for you. Titles can orient the reader to this in a way that something like seeing things just doesn't do. So, for example, we get a little bit of this. Saw street in hell and one in paradise. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, saw a room with a light in it so ailing it could have been leaning on a cane. And I like, this is probably the most powerful little part of it, little sentence here with that, in terms of what it does to experiment with the image. Now, here we go. Saw an old man in a tailor's shop kneel before a bride with pins between his lips. Okay, right? <laughs> like, that's the one. Like, he doesn't even make it interesting. Where the light bulb before that, right, leaning on a cane, like, does work. It, it, it makes it a unique observation of this light coming through a door or light in a, you know, an alleyway, whatever it is, right? This old light and this kind of, you know, leaning on a cane implies death and old age, which is what Simic's in right now, but... Things like that, right? So it just kind of struck me as not enough here. And I want to point to the Halloween masks, listeners, if you haven't read this collection, or if you have, you'll notice that something like Halloween masks come up as like a, a theme in this collection. And not just Halloween masks, but masks themselves, right? And we can read that a couple different ways. We can read it literally as a child wearing a Halloween mask like it is here. Or we can read it, you know, more metaphorically where... Um, as a mask that we wear to, you know, interact with the world, hide ourselves, protect ourselves, you know, whatever that is. Uh, I think that's, you know, so multiple uses in that case, but yeah. So going back with this kind of theme of me criticizing this for being a little too vague, a little too lackadaisical, maybe even lazy in places. Page six, and like I said, I have a lot in this one because it was just the first time I was going through it and I was like, you know, irritated with what I was seeing, bored, right? all that stuff. <clears throat> but on page six, the poem is called That Elusive Something. <sighs> okay, right. This is a little bit better, but I just, that's so vague. That elusive something. <sighs> I've said this before on the podcast and I'll say it again. If you want to write a poem, and a poem is very small, listeners, and, and you know, Shakespeare is one thing. Shakespeare covering huge huge subject matters in a very short sonnet well putting it into a sonnet form really helps you narrow that down and it really restricts you from going off the rails that's the benefit of form but in this case and you know i would say simic does straight free verse um although you notice a lot of people that do with free verse meaning they don't use the meter or the rhyme they will try to put structure other ways so in this for example, in this poem, page six, that elusive something, there are four line stanzas, four four line stanzas, and it gives it a little bit of, uh, you know, structure. That's what it's going for, at least. So that's not all over the page or one huge block or prose, right? Um, this is what separates poetry from other forms. But okay. And, and if you want to do this, you have to get specific. So you want to talk about that elusive something. Well, what is that? Because there's a bunch of things that are elusive to us. There are a bunch of things that we feel that we can't give meaning to, that we can't give, um, we can't articulate very well. This is part of the art of poetry, right? We're trying to articulate something that's elusive. Sure. Uh, I just said, again, need a little more. Titles are the big thing I see, especially in contemporary work that not enough people put effort into. Like the title can do so much work for this stuff and it takes time, it takes rereading and rewriting to be able to come up with a good title that does all this work, orients the reader toward to what they're about to read, etc. But all right, enough of that. Inner resources, American Shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Forward. I, I aspire to boredom, Heavy. I should say. Forward. Heavy. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. Forward.
guys unite sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.